Hey, thanks for your interest in writing Pythonic code like a seasoned developer. I'm Michael Kennedy, and I'm really excited to introduce this course to you. So what is Pythonic code? Well, it turns out the idea of Pythonic code is pretty easy to understand, but very hard to make concrete. You'll see a lot of blog posts and articles of people giving one example here or an example there, maybe a poor choice of a way to use a loop or something like that. But to actually nail it down is pretty hard. What we're going to do in this course is we're going to cover over 50 examples of poor code that is not idiomatic and how it can become Pythonic. This idea of idiomatic code that is most aligned with language features, all languages have this. All programming ecosystems have these idioms. In Python, people are particularly sensitive to this, and we have a name for it called Pythonic code. So why does Pythonic code matter? Well, when you write Pythonic code, you're leveraging over 25 years of experience of many thousands of developers. You write code that is tuned and expected by the C Python runtime, the most common runtime for executing Python code. And you write code that's easily and quickly read and understood by experienced Python developers. If you have an open source project, it's easier for contributors to join in because they already know the idioms of your project. If you're running a software team, it's easier to onboard new Python developers because they'll already understand the idioms used in your project. So who is this course aimed for? Well, if you're just new and you're learning Python, you don't really know Python yet, I recommend you take my other course, Python Jumpstart by Building 10 Apps. But if you've been working on it for, let's say, three to six months, cool, that's going to be really good for you. If you have a year's worth of experience, really, I think this is a great course to help you bring your Python to another level and hone it. Even if you've had a few years experience, probably good. If you've been working in Python for many years, you probably know many of these idioms already. Of course, all the code you see me write in this course, you will get. It will be on a public GitHub repository. So the time to act is now. If you want to take your Python programming to the next level, work in the most Pythonic way, and really understand why those idioms exist, not just what they are, I encourage you to join my course. And I look forward to spending some time with you online.